Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Okay, look, in this video, I just want to quickly talk about these rumors going around that Meryl Streep is going to be recast as Princess Leia in Star Wars Episode Nine. Now, first of all, I believe there's some petition online to get her to, uh, sorry, to get them to do that. I don't think it's anything official coming from Lucasfilm or Disney, because as far as we know, Kathleen Kennedy has said that, you know, the character of Princess Leia will not be recast, and we will not do any sort of CGI character as well. So... Okay, so what does that mean? Well, we're either going to learn about her death in a book, fuck, we're going to learn about her death in the opening crawl, we're going to learn, you know, learn about her death in some sort of exposition in the actual movie, maybe we see a funeral or, you know, whatever the case is. It's going to be one of those three things, I mean, what else can you do, right? But here's why I, and I consider myself a pretty hardcore Star Wars fan. I don't consider myself like a fucking sweaty ass Star Wars nerd, okay? Because I don't give a frog's fat ass about the expanded universe. I'm not saying there's not good stuff there. I'm not saying that. I just was not one of those kids that got into those books, that cared about all that fucking shit going on. I didn't care. I never got into it, okay? Um, and I don't really care about all of the Knights of the Old Republic and the intricacies and the No, for me, Star Wars has always been just the original trilogy. That's been it. I'm not saying there's not great stories. I'm not saying there's not good shit. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I never got into it, so I don't give a fuck about it. Having said all that, um, I really, you know, I enjoyed The Force Awakens. I liked it. I thought it was a great return to Star Wars. We needed that, especially after the prequels. We needed that. But then, of course, came The Last Jedi, and you guys know my thoughts on that. And if you don't know my thoughts on The Last Jedi and how I think it is just one big pile of missed opportunities, um, then just check out my videos on my channel where I talk about that, because I don't want to focus on that today, although it's very easy to do so. It's very easy for me to get into a fucking rage over The Last Jedi, so I have to, I gotta fucking censor myself here. Um, but I want to talk about the idea of Carrie Fisher's character of Princess Leia being recast. I'm okay with it. I am literally okay with it. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, no, that's fucking blasphemous. You don't do that. Oh, you never did. You're, fucking, you're not a fucking Star Wars fan. There's only one person that can play Princess Leia and it's Terry Fisher. <laughs> I feel the same way about Indiana Jones. You know, I kind of feel the same way about Han Solo, but let's fucking, let's look at this realistically. Okay, let's remove our emotional attachment and look at this fucking realistically from a story perspective, from what's best for the film, what's best for the movie, what's best for the trilogy, okay? And I know that's difficult for a lot of you fucking sweaty Star Wars nerds who are emotionally attached to this idea to do. I understand it, I totally get it, but let's look at this. I'm not saying you go out and cast anybody. No, it's gotta be the right person, and I don't even think you should cast somebody necessarily well-known, okay? There's a lot of talented actresses all around the world who can fit the description of uh, Princess Leia, who might even look like Carrie Fisher, you know, a little bit, say more so than Meryl Streep does. Um, and you could go to the theater, you could go to the stage, you could go to Broadway, you could go to England, you could come up here to Toronto. We have a great theater um, system up here. And I only mention the theater because, you know, there's a lot of wonderful actresses in the theater, the theater. I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm just saying there's a lot of wonderful actresses um, who aren't really well known to the general public, but could probably deliver an incredible performance. I'm not against recasting the character of Princess Leia, as long as it's doing justice to the story, as long as it's fulfilling the needs of the story. I don't want you to recast, okay, Princess Leia if there's no need for it. Okay, if you're just gonna do it just for the hell of it, just to have her in there in a couple of scenes. No, don't do that. That's just fucking bullshit. But if there's some hardcore, deep-seated, symbolic, emotional, moving shit, okay, that we were gonna get with Princess Leia's character in reference to her relationship with Kylo Ren or her relationship to the, you know, the Republic or her relationship to the broader sort of, you know, universe and the Force and, you know, what it means and all that kind of shit, yeah, you recast. 
But you have to recast somebody that looks like Carrie Fisher, has the acting chops to pull it off, understands the gravitas and the weight behind what this means, and you deliver in that way. And I think, I truly believe that although fans will be pissed off, you know, in the short term, if the movie is fucking amazing, if the performance is spot on, and you leave the theater going, wow, okay, I bought it. Like, they did a really good job. Like, it's not Carrie Fisher, but, you know, so-and-so did a really good job. Like, I, you know, at first I was a little, nah, but, you know, after like 15, 20 minutes, I I was like into this. This is Carrie Fisher, like, this, sorry, this is Princess Leia. Like, yes, okay, you know what? Good job. Because then you get lost in the story and all those important things, all those important things that we were going to need from the character, okay, and the evolution of that Princess Leia character can still come to fruition. Because what are we going to do now? We're going to read about her death in the opening fucking crawl? Are you kidding me? Am I going to have to read a book about her death? You know, are we going to get like five minutes of exposition about, oh yeah, by the way, Princess Leia died of a heart attack last week while she was eating nachos. Yeah, okay. Anyway, on with the movie. Like, I mean, fuck off, because there's only one of three ways you can do it. Exposition, in, you know, in the movie, right? Maybe you have her funeral or something, you know, weird. I don't know. Um, in the opening crawl or in a book. What else are you going to do? If the original idea they had for the character of Princess Leia was so monumental and so important, her story arc over these new three films was so awesome, you know, and be able to see that relationship with her son and to be able to see her struggling with Han Solo's death and to be able to see her struggling with Luke's death and to be able to see her struggling with all the, you know, you know, building the Republic and her role. Where does her role lie now? You know, she's not the future and she knows that. So how is she going to leave this, you know, to the new generation? All that kind of juicy character building shit. Yeah, you recast her. You absolutely recast her, but you have to do your due diligence to recast the right person for the job. Now, a lot of you hardcore fans will be like, no, there's nobody, there's nobody, there's nobody that could ever, oh, fuck off. Of course there is. Of course there is. We're emotionally attached and I am too. Don't misinterpret me. I am too, okay? I'm emotionally attached to Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia too. Absolutely, of course I am. But at the end of the day, you know, if you can leave the theater going, wow, that was a really good movie. I wasn't crazy on The Last Jedi, but they redeemed themselves in episode nine. JJ knocked it out of the park. You know, I wasn't crazy at first, but you know, it's, it's still gonna take a bit to get used to, but this, you know, this so-and-so did a really good job. Like she, she did a good job. She, she, she did a really good job. And because she did a really good job, I could then sit back and get lost in the journey of the story. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, oh, that's fucking, you know, that's why you don't go and cast somebody who looks nothing like her or you go and cast, you know, somebody really well known where it becomes a distraction. No, you go and you cast somebody who nobody's heard of, but who's had a plethora of experience in acting, whether it's, you know, on stage in Britain or up here in Toronto or, you know, on Broadway, you know, who's a bit older, you know, that kind of looks like, or who, you know, who can bring that wealth of experience, you know, that understanding that learns, you know, what Princess Leia is and they go through the, absolutely, man. Now I look, I know this video will probably get a lot of thumbs down and that's okay. That's okay. That's why I leave the option for you there to do that because you don't necessarily have to agree with me. But at the end of the day, I want a good fucking movie. I want a good movie, okay? I want a good movie, all right? And if that means you got to recast Princess Leia so you can deliver what you were supposed to do, what you were going to do, Force Awakens is Han's film, Last Jedi is Luke's film, I guess, although there were so many fucking missed opportunities with Luke. And episode nine was going to be Leia's film, right? You know, where, where where we see the completion of her arc. I want to see the completion of her arc. I don't want to read about it in fun, you know, in some fucking opening crawl. Oh, by the way, go to the book of episode nine and uh, page uh, 42, paragraph uh, uh, three, sentence six, that'll tell you what happened to her. It's like, fuck off. No, man. You know, that character, that's one thing that pissed me off. Not so much Han Solo. Han Solo's character, I, I felt was... Uh, I, I felt his arc and how he came to his demise. I thought what, uh, uh, JJ did was great. 
I have no complaints. I have no complaints. Luke, fuck. No, like what the fuck, okay? And now I'm gonna read about Leia's death in the opening crawl or something like that? Fuck off, man. These are legacy characters. You gotta deliver. There's nothing wrong with doing justice to these characters and still passing the torch. Like you don't have to disrespect the characters and shove them off to the side in some sort of ridiculous way just because you you know you have an agenda, you gotta bring in these new characters. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that. I'm I'm I get it. We gotta move into the future. I get that these new characters are the future. That's fine. But you can still send these legacy characters off in a blaze of glory. You know, you don't have to send them off with a fucking milk and a tit on an island anyway so um that's how i feel about it okay now i don't think there's any truth to these rumors i think somebody just started a petition to want to get meryl streep to play okay fine i don't think lucasfilm is going to do that but if it were up to me i would take a long hard ass serious look at what we have here or what our original idea was because you know they've abandoned it I mean, you know, because of the death of Carrie Fisher, they've totally abandoned whatever they were going to do. But I would, but unless you've come up with something better and just as satisfying and just as, um, you know, um, um, you know, something that's going to give us that feeling of completion, that satisfaction that her character was given the justice it deserves. I think the Han Solo character was, I don't think Luke's was at all. You gotta come back and you gotta give some justice to Princess Leia. And if that means you gotta recast her so it fits the story, because that's the most important thing here, folks, is the story. I truly believe that in short-term pain, all little fucking sweaty fanboys will be like, but I truly believe that at the end of the day, if that movie is fucking amazing and you deliver on that character, I think in due time down the road, people will be like, yeah, okay, it's not Carrie Fisher, but this actress, she did a good job. Like it was it good enough that I can finally get lost in the narrative and they do justice to this character. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. If you have not found an, a just as satisfying alternative, I'm serious, because if you're alternative, what you've had to do because Carrie Fisher died if it's not as good as what you were going to do, you fucking recast her. You absolutely recast her. 100%. 100%. You do it. But you take the time and your due diligence to find the right individual. That's what you have to do. I hope you, I hope that you're not just settling because Carrie Fisher died. Like, I get it. It sucks. It fucking sucks. It does. I loved her, man. Who didn't? Who didn't love her in that role? Absolutely. It sucks. It fucking sucks and it's shitty. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the story. And you have to serve the story. Okay? You don't serve the fans. You serve the story. Because if the story is good, if the story is fantastic, if it's really good, and this comes to a fulfilling, satisfying completion, not just the movie, but her arc, we're going to be okay. Anyways, folks, my name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. McRae is M-C-R-A-E, facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. Follow me there in the meantime and in between time because that's where I tend to post when I'm not posting here. And uh, until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. God, you know, I still, I, I still feel <sighs> about The Last Jedi. I really do. I've only seen it once. I've only seen it once. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so many missed opportunities. I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.